38 Super. You see that on the box? Could you mistake that for 38 Special? I did. Welcome back to Smoking Jay's Garage. I, uh, like I said, I mistake, mistakenly bought some 38 Super instead of 38 Special, so I had to go out and buy a 38 Super. Otherwise, I had no use for that box of ammo. Now, I picked up a Rock Island Armory. This is a 1911, obviously. This is in 38 Super. This is the GI edition. So it has uh, nothing fancy. It's got the very plain sights. It has the uh, beaver tail that is kind of a, the, the one that kind of bites the back of your hand, especially in a higher caliber. Now, I, I did notice, uh, having shot a GI edition 45, I do get a sore hand. It, it does kind of kind of bite you in there. Uh, the 38 Super has a lot less recoil, and I did not notice that with it. I did put some different grips on here because Rock Island Armory sends you the wood grips, and uh, I like these G10 a little bit better. I put these on. They were about 20 bucks. I found them on uh, Amazon uh, from a company that I'd never heard of before, but uh, they actually look and uh, work pretty good. So we have uh, one magazine comes with it. It is a 10-round magazine, and uh, let's get to shooting it. I like it. I mentioned this is a 10 round magazine. I'm only putting nine in it because I'm cheap. Now those of you that are not familiar with uh, 38 Super, it is a 38 caliber bullet, so basically a .385, I believe. Very similar to what a 9mm is. Uh, if you want to, if we compare the two, this is a 38 Super, this is 9mm. When you put those together, uh, the 9mm is just a little bit shorter. So, 38 Super is the uh, same diameter bullet with a slightly larger case and a little bit more powder behind it. When you shoot competition, you get points, uh, and I don't know exactly how this works, but you get points based on, partially, based on the caliber that you are using. The larger caliber, the more points that you can get. And uh, 38 Super is the smallest caliber that you can use and get the high amount of points for it. So the 38 Super is relatively common in competition. Uh, elsewhere, not so much. Now, Rock Island Armory is known for having, uh, I wouldn't say bad guns by any means, but very budget-friendly guns. And this is one of their budgetest-friendly ones. Uh, again, $500 was the, was the price on this. Just, just under $500. I think it was like $498 or $488 or something like that. So they're a very basic model. You know, the Rock Island Armory does have some firearms that have uh, the Trinium sights, a little bit fancier, a little bit nicer, uh, beaver tail, that kind of stuff. Uh, this is like... The very basic one because you know that what what they originally came out with in 1911 was what we know now as the gi edition uh, or the gi model or whatever uh, but this gun shoots very nice recoil wise very comparable to that of a nine millimeter it does have a little bit more um a little bit more kinetic energy than what a nine millimeter does but recoil wise very comparable to a nine millimeter and uh, shoots very good i'm going to go ahead and uh, show you this target here in a second now, I'm always off on one. I don't know why that is. I, I jerk, I whatever. Usually it's the second round too, and I, I don't know why that is. Uh, one here I'm not even going to show you because it's all over the damn place. But uh, obviously my one here that's off, but my, my other group is uh, pretty good. Come down here again. Obviously I got that one that's off, uh, but the rest of it is uh, 
kind of right on target. So the gun itself shoots really nice, especially at that low price point. I love it when I find a really cheap gun that shoots really good. Uh, I really like that. Rock Island Armory also uh, t tends to have not the greatest finishes. If you take a look here, I try to get that uh, try to get that right in the light. Maybe you can see I'm getting a little bit of wear marks from the casings that are ejecting. It is starting to uh, chip off the finish there just a little bit. Not bad. I've noticed that on other uh, Rock Island arms as well. But overall, uh, the gun looks good. I think again, I added these grips, but uh, the gun looks good. It's a typical looking 1911, right? Uh, it's got a 10 round magazine, comes with only one magazine. I always like when a uh, company sends me two magazines because, come on, like, you know I'm going to buy another one, right? And I think that's why they only give me one because they know I'm going to buy another one. Uh, but the gun shoots very good, and I really like the 30, the 38 Super Round. Uh, I'm actually glad I bought that box of shells by mistake because I probably would not have bought one otherwise. And uh, I'm actually really liking this gun. Uh, it's very accurate and uh, very comfortable to shoot. Again, uh, with the, uh, the beaver tail that is the uh, original style, I thought that that's going to kind of catch the, the inside of my hand here. Uh, on the 38 Super, the recoil is light enough. It's not a problem at all. So I'm not even going to bother uh, trying to replace that beaver tail. Uh, typically on a, on a bigger gun, uh, 45 or something like that, I like having that nice curved beaver tail because it just kind of rolls in your hand a lot nicer, but uh, it's not needed with this. So uh, if you're looking for... Uh, a 38 Super, or if you're just looking for something a little bit uh, different, a little unusual, um, check out the 38 Super. And uh, if you're not positive, look for the Rock Island Armory 1911 because uh, it's relatively very inexpensive, especially nowadays, right? We're paying like $1,500 for guns. I actually saw a uh, Dan Wesson for $2,800 that uh, probably shoots way, way better than this, but does it shoot like five and a half times as good i don't know uh so check this out uh, excellent price point and a uh, really nice round actually very accurate and very fun to shoot and relatively inexpensive i'm paying twenty dollars for a box of shells a box of 50 whereas right now uh, nine millimeters are going for about 15 to 17 dollars a box so a little bit more expensive than nine millimeter but not much very comparable so uh check it out if you think you might be interested if you watch this channel for the first time and you haven't already and you want to a boom Please subscribe.